the James Webb Telescope has been our eye in the sky, peering into the depths of space to bring the cosmos closer to home. Its lens has unraveled the impossible, pushing the boundaries of science. During one of its movements, the James Webb Telescope revealed an image of Proxima b, our closest exoplanet neighbor, captured in detail. However, something unexpected happened. What could it be, and what mysteries does the James Webb Telescope have to solve? Stay with us as we unwrap the story behind this image and the sudden silence of humanity's greatest space observatory, the James Webb Space Telescope. JWST was specifically designed to revolutionize infrared astronomy. Equipped with cutting-edge high-resolution and high-sensitivity instruments, it surpasses its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, by enabling observation of previously inaccessible objects due to age, distance, or faintness. This groundbreaking capability opens vast research opportunities in various areas of astronomy and cosmology. Stay tuned to discover these breakthroughs and their impact on the James Webb Telescope. Astronomers made an incredible discovery, identifying potentially six massive galaxies from the universe's early stages. If confirmed, these galaxies could revolutionize our understanding of galaxy formation and evolution. These findings, utilizing data from JWST's powerful infrared sensors, provide a glimpse into the universe 13.1 to 5 billion years ago, just 3% of its current age. These galaxies, existing 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, already exhibited maturity comparable to our 13-billion-year-old Milky Way. The mass of stars in each could be several billion times greater than our sun's mass. This discovery underscores the universe's immense scale, challenging our notions of galactic evolution. The implications are profound, and what happened next after their discovery with the James Webb Telescope will shock you. Erica Nelson, an astrophysicist at the University of Colorado Boulder and co-author of the study, expressed surprise at finding galaxies with as many stars as the Milky Way appearing so early, highlighting the incredible nature of these findings. They found an exoplanet in the Centauri system, a celestial body outside our solar system. This exoplanet is 11 times more massive than Jupiter, our largest planet. Centauri b is a young binary system with stars orbiting a common center located approximately 325 light-years away. It's one of the most massive systems known to host a planet. The two Centauri b stars, Centauri a and Centauri b, are relatively young, around 15 million years old compared to our sun's 4.5 billion years. Despite challenges posed by Centauri b's intense radiation flares, its potential to host a life-conducive environment has captivated scientists and astrobiologists. The prospect of liquid water and its position in the habitable zone make Proxima Centauri be a compelling target for further study. Advanced computer models indicate Proxima Centauri B could maintain liquid water across different scenarios, bolstering its potential to support diverse life forms. Its proximity and potential for a subsurface ocean beneath ice add layers to this intriguing exoplanet. Is Proxima Centauri B's atmosphere conducive to life? Positioned within its star's habitable zone, it suggests potential for liquid water on the surface, a key ingredient for life. However, its orbit's closeness to the star could lead to tidal locking, with one side always facing the star, a phenomenon affecting its atmosphere and potential habitability. The atmosphere may consist of oxygen-bearing gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide, potentially visible from Earth as auroras. Climate models suggest various conditions from ice-covered to ocean-rich surfaces. Despite its habitable potential, Proxima Centauri b faces challenges such as intense UV radiation and stellar winds, which can impact its atmosphere and surface conditions. These factors could limit habitability by exposing potential life forms to harmful radiation or causing atmospheric loss, affecting the planet's ability to support life as we know it. Proxima Centauri's longer lifespan than the Sun offers ample time for life to develop, albeit under conditions challenging for Earth-like photosynthesis. Proxima Centauri's emission spectrum favors anoxygenic photosynthesis, posing challenges for detecting life relying on different biochemical processes. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for assessing Proxima Centauri b's potential for hosting life. Telescopes face challenges observing through Earth's atmosphere due to distortion caused by moisture. 
High-altitude observatories like Mount Ika in Hawaii and dry regions like the Atacama Desert minimize atmospheric interference. However, placing telescopes in space eliminates these limitations, enabling clear observations like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. JWST, like Hubble, benefits from unobstructed space viewing, enhancing its ability to study celestial objects with minimal distortion. Named after James Webb, JWST aims to transform astronomy by studying star formation, galaxy evolution, and planetary systems. Launching in 2021 after budget increases and delays, JWST promises to surpass Hubble with its larger mirror and advanced infrared capabilities. These advancements enable JWST to explore exoplanet atmospheres and search for biosignatures, potentially revolutionizing our understanding of the universe. JWST's 21.3 feet, 6.5 meters, mirror, the largest in space, supports its infrared capabilities, surpassing Hubble's observational reach. Its four instruments inside a graphite composite bus are shielded by a sun shield and cooled by a cryocooler, crucial for infrared sensitivity. JWST's ability to observe beyond Earth's atmosphere enhances its capacity to study distant objects including exoplanets and solar system bodies like Mars and Jupiter's moons. JWST's debut in 2022 revealed six galaxies challenging current cosmological theories, providing insights into early universe structures identified by their luminosity and deep red hues. These galaxies formed within 700 million years post-Big Bang, exceeding earlier mass estimates. JWST's subsequent technical challenges including communication delays and instrument malfunctions, temporarily disrupted observations but were mitigated through engineering solutions. Despite setbacks, JWST continues providing unprecedented insights into the cosmos, reinforcing its role as humanity's premier space observatory. Future discoveries promise to expand our understanding of galaxy evolution, exoplanet atmospheres, and the cosmic origins of life. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, often referred to simply as Webb, represents a quantum leap in space-based astronomy. It is designed to operate primarily in the infrared range, enabling it to study objects and phenomena that are beyond the reach of ground-based telescopes and even its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. Webb's mission is to explore the universe's first light and galaxies, the formation of stars and planetary systems, and the conditions conducive to life on exoplanets. Its primary scientific goals include observing the first galaxies. Webb aims to peer back in time to the era when the first galaxies formed shortly after the Big Bang. By studying these ancient galaxies, astronomers hope to understand how structures in the universe evolved from the initial distribution of matter. A studying star and planet formation. By examining stellar nurseries where stars are born from the collapse of interstellar gas and dust, Webb seeks to unravel the processes behind star formation and the birth of planetary systems. A characterizing exoplanets. Webb's advanced instruments are designed to analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets, providing insights into their compositions and potential habitability. It aims to detect biosignatures, indicators of life on distant worlds. Webb is equipped with four primary instruments, each tailored to specific scientific objectives. A near-infrared camera and near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, NIRCAM slash NIRIS, this instrument covers the wavelength range from 0.6 to 5 micrometers and is used for imaging and photometric observations. NIRCAM's primary role includes identifying the earliest galaxies, studying star formation, and searching for distant exoplanets. A near-infrared spectrograph, NIRSpec NIRSpec provides high-resolution spectroscopy from 0.6 to 5 micrometers, allowing astronomers to analyze the light from celestial objects in detail. It is crucial for studying the physical and chemical properties of galaxies and the dynamics of stellar populations. A mid-infrared instrument, MIRI operating from 5 to 28.5 micrometers, MIRI combines imaging, coronagraphy, and spectroscopy capabilities. It is used for observing cooler objects like exoplanets, the formation of stars, and the distant universe's thermal emission. Fine Guidance Sensor, FGS, and Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, NIRIS FGS NIRIS, combines the functions of guiding Webb's precise pointing, 
and providing scientific observations in the 0.8 to 5 micrometer range. NIRA specializes in exoplanet studies, including transiting exoplanet atmospheres and the detection of faint astronomical sources. One of Webb's most critical technical innovations is its five-layer sunshield, which acts as a massive parasol to protect the telescope from the sun's heat and light. This shield allows Webb's instruments to operate at incredibly low temperatures around 40K or minus 233 degrees Celsius, necessary for their infrared observations. The deployment of the sun shield after launch was a complex and meticulously planned maneuver involving several stages to ensure it unfurled correctly and achieved the desired shape and orientation. Precision Mirror Alignment Webb's primary mirror, composed of 18 hexagonal segments made of beryllium, was another engineering marvel. The mirror segments had to be precisely aligned to function as a single cohesive unit, ensuring optimal image resolution and sensitivity across Webb's infrared wavelengths. Each mirror segment's position was meticulously adjusted using actuators and motors during the telescope's construction phase to achieve the required optical performance. Webb's operations rely on sophisticated communication and control systems on board the spacecraft. These systems manage the telescope's orientation in space, coordinate scientific observations, and ensure data transmission back to Earth. The precise pointing accuracy required for Webb's observations, coupled with its complex orbit and thermal management, necessitated robust onboard computing and control capabilities. Webb's journey from conception to launch was marked by significant challenges, including budget overruns, technical complexities, and delays. Originally proposed as a $1 billion project, the final cost of Webb ballooned to approximately $10 billion, reflecting the scope and ambition of its scientific objectives and technical requirements. After years of development and testing, Webb was finally launched aboard an Ariane 5 rocket from French Guiana on December 25, 2021. Orbit at L2 point. Following its launch, Webb embarked on a journey to its operational orbit around the second Lagrange point, L2, of the Earth-Sun system. L2 provides a stable gravitational point where Webb can maintain a relatively constant distance from Earth while remaining shielded from the Sun and Earth's radio interference. This positioning allows Webb to conduct uninterrupted infrared observations free from the atmospheric distortions that limit ground-based telescopes. Commissioning and Calibration Upon reaching L2, Webb underwent an extensive period of commissioning and calibration to ensure all systems were functioning correctly. This phase involved deploying the sun shield, aligning the primary mirror segments, and verifying the performance of each instrument. Initial images and data obtained during commissioning demonstrated Webb's capabilities, confirming its readiness to commence full-scale scientific operations. Unveiling the Ancient Universe Webb's early observations have already provided unprecedented insights into the distant universe. One of its most notable achievements was capturing images of ancient galaxies dating back to just 100 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies, detected by Webb's NIR cam and NIR spec instruments, appear surprisingly mature and massive, challenging existing models of galaxy formation and evolution. Exoplanet studies and biosignatures Webb's advanced spectroscopic capabilities have also been instrumental in studying exoplanet atmospheres. By analyzing the light passing through these atmospheres during transits, astronomers can detect the presence of specific gases such as water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide. These observations are crucial for identifying potential biosignatures, indicators of life on distant planets, and furthering our understanding of habitability beyond the Earth. Solar System Exploration in addition to its deep space observations, Webb has also been utilized for solar system studies. Its ability to observe in the infrared range allows for detailed investigations of planets, moons, asteroids, and comets within our own solar system. These observations complement those from ground-based telescopes and previous space missions, providing new insights into planetary compositions, surface features, and dynamic processes. Webb operates as an international collaboration involving NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. Scientists from around the world submit proposals to use Webb for their research, fostering a global effort to expand our knowledge of the cosmos. The data collected by Webb are made publicly available through archives and databases, 
enabling astronomers worldwide to analyze and interpret observations independently. Technical challenges and delays. Web's development and deployment were plagued by technical challenges, delays, and budget overruns, making it one of the most scrutinized and debated space missions in history. Some of the key challenges included budget overruns, originally budgeted at $1 billion, Webb's final cost escalated to approximately $10 billion, prompting criticism and concerns over fiscal responsibility. The complexity of its instruments, deployment mechanisms, and the need for rigorous testing contributed to the increased costs. Launch delays. Webb's launch date was postponed several times due to technical issues, including the need for additional testing and modifications. These delays extended the project timeline and increased overall costs raising doubts about its feasibility and scientific objectives. 